So continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a Dokkan Fest Super 17 Saga Goku from GT, of course. And it's coming in from Sam. So before I go ahead and read Sam's email, um, <laughs> go ahead and send me custom cards to bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com. Uh, it's right below me at the bottom of the screen. It's going to scroll in and scroll out. You know, I'm trying to, you know experiment with editing i haven't did too many like too much editing i haven't done too much of it but yeah don't mind me guys i'm just a little bit tired i just got out of work and usually when i get out of work i immediately record these videos so with that being said let's see what sam has to say inside this email so he can jump straight into his card so sam says thanks for taking the time out to review my cards i hope you enjoy this guy of course course sam i enjoy all your cards and i enjoy everybody else's custom cards that they send to me don't worry i saw one comment saying something along the lines of me sounding uninterested i don't i don't like uh try to sound uninterested it's just be like sometimes i'd be a little bit tired like you know because i wake up so early and I, I get straight out of work i you know do my normal things take care of my dog and all the other you know life stuff do my little life stuff and then just get straight to youtube um, but prior to that, I was like, you know, caught up in a lot of like, you know, life stuff. But yeah, that's not important. The important thing is, is Super 17 Saga, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So just a, a Super Saiyan 4 Goku from me. Uh, you know. Yeah, let's just talk about it. <laughs> um, anyways. So we have a uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. It looks good on this side. It's actually cutting off a bit on this side. So what I'm going to do, um, it might have glitched out like my... Uh, me talking but it's okay it's not a big deal <laughs> so i think it looks good from this side it does perfect perfect all right uh does it matter if i zoom in oh yeah I'm, I'm gonna do it like this i'm gonna do it like this i like that i like that I'm gonna move the mic up a little bit because i forgot to um okay let's see what we got here now we have a uh super saiyan 4 goku fight the fused android super saiyan 4 goku He's a TUR, of course, and he is super physical. And these are stats for all my stat junkies, of course. His categories are as shown, and his link set is also as shown, too. He has Fierce Battle, GT, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, Saiyan Roar, All in the Family, and the Saiyan Lineage. I do like the fact that he is toting Prepare for Battle, the Saiyan Lineage. On I do like his link set. I do, because if you match him with the hybrid Saiyan that has the All in the Family and the Saiyan Lineage, that's, that's a good pairing. Absolutely. Now, granted, uh, if you pair them with a hybrid Saiyan, they're more than likely not going to have Saiyan Roar. I mean, you could pair him with that Dragon Ball Hero Super Saiyan 4 Gohan. Uh, is that Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, the Int one? I, I think. I don't quite remember. I haven't used that card in a little while. But, um, yeah. Don't mind me, guys. I'm, like, leveling um, on the side. Uh, but <laughs> with that being said, uh, his leader skill is all out struggle or GT heroes, three key and one that's 70% across the board. And his 30% of the stats is to earth bread fighters or final trump card. Now, I'm not even going to lie. Yo, this category, I'm not even going to lie. We have like a handful of good units on this category. We have the gammas. Gohan, of course, is still usable. Um, we have the eighth year GT boys. Um, and then like, is that it? <laughs> I mean, you know, you got Blue Cow and Goku, but there's not too many Universal Survival Saga characters for you to pair with him, so he can. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, this category's not looking all the craziest. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, back on over to the card. So his super attack, the 12 key, the Kamehameha, he gets 50% attack and defense. No, he just stacks. Whoa, okay, so he just greatly stacks. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> So, his super attack, of course, just regularly, I just, I thought he was an LR for a second, even though I, I read it as TUR at the start. My brain is not there, guys. My brain's not there. He's a Dokkan Fest TUR. He's super physical. So, his super attack, the Kamehameha, he greatly stacks attack and defense, does immense damage to the enemy with a 30% chance of stun. So, of course, him being a greatly stacker is obviously very nice. He also... Uh, starts out with three key and 200% attack and defense at the start of the turn. Oh, excuse me, guys. I want to read the uh, the name of the passive, of course. It's struggle against the ultimate android. Okay, so he starts out with three key and 200% attack and defense at the start of the turn, and he gets an additional 59%. Uh, it just says 59%. It doesn't say attack. Yeah, it just says plus an additional 59% when performing a super attack. I, I'm going to assume that it's attack. I assume it's attack. Sam... 
correct me down below. It just says plus additional 50%, no, 59% attack. That's all it says. It doesn't say attack or defense or both. It just says 59%. Correct me down below. I'm just going to go off the assumption that it's 59% attack when performing a super attack. So he gets 20% attack and defense up to 120% with each attack received. So that is what? I think that's six hits he has to take. I think that's six hits. Yeah, he has to take six, six hits to basically build that all up, I believe. He also guards unrestricted, and he performs an additional attack that has a 50% chance of becoming a super attack when all characters attacking in the same turn are GT Heroes category characters. Uh, just like yesterday's card, this guy has a high defensive stat. Yeah. So, he guards unrestricted. He's greatly stacking attack and defense. Uh, he builds up attack and defense very easy by just taking hits. He has additional super attack chance provided you do have those GT Heroes category characters attacking the same turn with him, so it shouldn't be too hard to get off, uh, considering the fact that he does lead GT Heroes. GT Heroes needs some help. Guys, we gotta see GT Heroes real quick. GT Heroes needs some goddamn help. Oh my goodness. Let me, let me see. Oh my goodness. Give this team some help. Who's the best character on this team? The Atheers. Yeah. It's, is it the Atheers? Am I, look, am I overlooking somebody? It's the Atheers. This team... Well, Pan... Pan can do some nutty stuff. Pan is pretty crazy. Like, low-key, pretty nasty. But, uh... It's, it's like between Pan and like the Atheers. But generally, you're going to say the Atheers, right? Pan really wants an AGL team, I'm pretty sure. I haven't used Pan in a while, ever since I pulled her on Global. But, uh, yeah, it's it has to be the 8th years. It has to be the 8th years, and it has to be AGL Pan. It's like, you look at this team from, like, a... It's, this team is ass. Like, let's just call a spade a spade. This team needs, like, both of the Golden Week, uh, the SSJ, uh, you know, the Super Saiyan, uh... What do I even call them? We need this guy's easy A and this guy's easy A. The Super Saiyan GT Goku and the Super Saiyan GT Vegeta's easy A. So these guys need an easy A immediately because they are from 2021. Hold on, they're from 2021? God damn. Wow. Okay, time flies. Seriously. We need this guy's easy A. Absolutely. You know what? We're not going to spin this off into a GT Heroes Needs Help video. We're going back on over to the card. So his passive is looking nice, standard, good, nothing too crazy. Doesn't have too many stats buffs in his uh, his um, base form. He just has three key, 200% attack and defense, 59% attack and performing super attack. Sam, correct me if that's attack or defense or if it's attack and defense, like both, like just combined. So he just has 59% here. He has 200% attack and defense here. He builds up to 120% here. And he just guards, additional super attack chance, blah, blah, blah. You guys get the gist. He's looking pretty solid for his base form. His active skill, the Dragon Fist, the activation condition can be on or after the fifth turn from start of turn. Massively raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage and stunning the enemy reverts to Goku GT. So it just goes like to, you know, just the rat. Let's call him the rat. <laughs> so we get to the rat. All right. So, well, this, I forgot to mention, this is going to hit really hard. No, if you're just continuously building up and building up and build up, because you got to keep in mind he's greatly stacking attack, like with his defense. So this act just goes gonna hit decently hard, <laughs> as well as it being a guaranteed stun. I forgot to, you know, point that out. Even though I said it, I forgot to just point it out just cause. Anyways, all right. So GT Goku. So his links do change. He gets experienced fighters in place of Saiyan Roar. He does. And Saiyan Warrior Race replaces Super Saiyan. I'm pretty sure everything else is the same. Yeah, everything else should be the same. Okay, so his new super attack effect, of course, it's still the name of it, is the Kamehameha. He gets 100% attack and defense for one turn while doing immense damage to enemies. So, of course, that is very nice. He also starts out with 4 key and 220% attack and defense at the start of the turn. And he gets 100% attack when performing a super attack. Okay, so this is 59% attack. So, Sam, um, if you still want to correct me down below, please let me know. I'm pretty sure it's 59% attack because it says 100% attack right over here. It's pretty much buffed up. He gets guaranteed dodge one turn, strong. And he gets a 30% chance to dodge from the second turn from first appearance. He is a physical key sphere. Oh, um, changer. Excuse me, I forgot to finish that. But, yeah, he's a physical key sphere changer. 
Yeah, of course, excluding physical. And he gets 20% attack and defense per key sphere obtained, so he's a nuker. And he gets an additional 20% attack and defense if those are physical key spheres. And he has unrestricted 20% damage reduction. So, guaranteed dodge for the first turn. He is a physical orb changer that can get up to 40% attack and defense per key sphere obtained with those physical key spheres. Uh, 20% damage reduction and a 30% chance to dodge to fall back on. I mean, although it's only a 30% chance to dodge, this 40% attack of defense. I like the fact that he's changing his own orbs so he can nuke with them. I like that. While him having 20% damage reduction, his defense is going to be looking pretty, pretty high post-super, right? Considering the fact that once you go into the GT Goku form, you're going to have all that greatly stacked up attack and defense with this monstrous defensive stat like 15,300 and and uh 56 looking good i like the design yeah a stacker with additional super attack chance that when you pop the active skill can do large amounts of damage in the right condition you get into gt goku he has guaranteed dodge he's a nuker that creates his own orbs he has damage reduction um dodge of course the guaranteed dodge for that first turn that dot that 30 percent chance to dodge from the second turn looking good to me with a strong super attack effect 100 percent attack and defense for one turn all that greatly stacked up attack and defense goes into this form I mean, no issues here for me. I'm, the only thing I will say is that, man, this leader skill. <laughs> um, boy. Whew. Uh, maybe I should uh, start looking a little bit more closer into leader skills when it comes to... Um, well, most of the leader skills I see are pretty strong. Typically. Typically. But this card is looking good. Sam. Sam has sent me so many cards. This is a couple of you guys that sent me so many cards. And I got to... Huge shout out to you guys that constantly send me cards, and I'm glad I'm getting to all these cards right now, and I'm just doing one a day. I think that's a good, good start for me to continue, like, barreling through all these custom cards. Uh, so I think that is about it. Sam, thank you for sending me a custom card. If you want to send me a custom card, uh, it's... Hold on. Dev, you don't even have to edit. I'm going to move you. Move you right up here. All right. So right below me, it's going to say bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com. So that way it scrolls in, boom, and you send me custom cards uh, so I can review them in the future. And as I get the older custom cards of the video, I'll get to yours eventually. But yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. Sam, again, thank you for sending me a custom card. Um, and I'm, You know what I should be saying is that I give you a shout out for sending me in your custom cards. Because technically, I do. I just sometimes forget to say people's names. Yeah. Sometimes, but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I love you all. You guys are the greatest. Peace.